Hi, I'm Tom Bilek. I'm one half of the Tom Foolery Show. Here to introduce my better half, the lovely and talented Miss Michelle. Good morning, darling. Good morning. How are you? Doing fabulous. You? Oh, great. Can't be any, any better. Um, we've taken a little break from the Tom Foolery Show over the last couple of months. Time to uh, to recharge, yes. if you will. Yes, and we have a really good project that we've been working on. We've done about 50 shows over the last three and a half years, and out of those 50, I think 48 have been pretty good. Uh, a couple of clinkers in there, but the fact of the matter is, uh, we like to think that we've put together a pretty nice production. Yes, and this summer, late summer, we have another great production coming up. One of the things that we've we've struggled with and had uh, a bit of a challenge with is finding a suitable venue, a place where we could say, yes, this this is where we want to take our show to the next level, right? Yes, we've had several venues, Wicker Park Social Center, Village Cesare, all beautiful, but just not the place that we would like to have a, f right. a home. Maybe not uh, tailored for live events. Uh, we're very excited uh, to reveal uh, the location of our next event, which is right behind us, the beautifully uh, historic Hoosier Theater right here in downtown Whiting, Indiana. Now, most people know the Hoosier Theater as a very nice movie house, yes. right? Yes, they play all the new releases. First run. First run movies. First run movies. But what a lot of people don't know is behind that movie screen is just a simply majestic stage suitable for really any type of theatrical production. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, the history of the theater is so rich. Uh, back in the 1920s, people would come here to uh, see vaudeville shows, uh, silent movies accompanied by organ music. In the 1930s, famed comedians the Three Stooges mm. performed here, right? Stooges? Yes, the Stooges were here. Also, I believe W.C. Fields? W.C. Fields performed here. Uh, what they would do, they would come here and perform, uh, get their material ready before they took it to Chicago. Mm -hmm. um, famed actor Charles Lawton of The Hunchback of uh, Notre Dame performed here. Um, in the 1940s, famed actor James Cagney sold war bonds right okay. there, right there in front of that theater uh, to raise money for the war effort. Later, uh, the theater was basically relegated to uh, to movies, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, the owner, John Catrus, uh, of the Hoosier Theater has graciously uh, offered us the opportunity to bring the Tom Foolery Show to that wonderfully majestic stage, uh, which we simply can't wait to get in there. No, that show will be September 30th. September 30th right here, and it's a fundraiser of sorts. Yes, the fundraiser is going to help support a new project here in Northwest Indiana called Excel to Fitness. Miss Barbara Gadarian Muckle is the chapter president and we are going to help that program which serves boys three through sixth grade in elementary schools and it helps them to be determined, have grit, persevere and be dream chasers. So it's a great cause. It's going to be a great show because we've got a wonderfully talented uh, mix of different types of comedy, live music, uh, starting off the uh, the lineup will be Marcy the one and only Deloney. We love Marcy. Her career is just catapulted since she started uh, performing in our shows about three years ago. She's this close folks just this close to making it big. Also on the ticket we also have Lucky Luciano. Lucky Luciano, another one of our favorites. Again, we've just seen a steady rise in his progression as far as a comedian. Uh, he's, he's wonderful transcends all audiences and last but not least direct from monkey's crevice west virginia will be the famous brothers will and rick and darren ball brothers um and i th i think they even have uh, the same dad um maybe that could be questionable <laughs> okay whatever the case may be uh they're they're nice fellows uh, they're, they do a wonderful uh, uh comedy musical comedy act and uh, y you just can't beat that no, so if you've come to any of our shows and you've seen the Famous Brothers, you know you want to come back. And if you haven't seen them, you're surely missing a treat. Now, no tomfoolery show would be complete without live music. And for this event, uh, we, we made the determination that in order to uh, take advantage of the renaissance of live entertainment here at the Hoosier, that we needed to have a band that was also experiencing a renaissance, and they are... They are Rockin' Horse. Rockin' Horse, probably my all-time favorite band. A band that I went to see many times back in the late 70s and early 1980s. And uh, they just have a wonderful, wonderful sound. It's kind of like your mom singing you a hard rock lullaby in four-part harmony with just a driving rock beat behind it. They are fabulous. Um, they've regrouped over the last several years and they've actually going to be... Uh, putting out some new music. Yes, we had some quick sneak peeks of that music and it's outstanding. 
and they've been in a couple of our shows before, but quite honestly, uh, we've had to rein them in a little bit just due to the size of the venue and the nature of the, uh, the audience. Uh, but in this case, we've promised them the opportunity to crank it up, turn it loose, and, and let it fly, boys. So it, that's going to be a wonderful show. So September 30th, right here at the Hoosier Theater, Marcy Deloney. Lucky Luciano. The Famous Brothers. And Rockin' Horse. And it's all for a good cause for Excel to Fitness. So come on out and see us. Look for the ticket link very soon. Uh, we'll be with you. Uh, look for more on Facebook. Thanks so much. Thanks. Th Thanks. Bye. Thanks. Bye.